In Bridges to Nowhere, players compete to build the highest scoring bridge. During each round, players will draft three bridge cards, then build those cards onto their bridge. At the end of the fourth round, players score their bridges and the highest score wins. There are three types of cards used in the game. Pillar cards, bridge cards, and contract cards, though we won't use contracts in the intro game. Separate the pillar cards based on their symbols and hand a set to each player. Shuffle the bridge cards and deal out six face up. Now let's take a closer look at them. There are three types of bridge cards, cable, truss, and suspension. Each card has a point value and a pair of symbols at the bottom used to score. After randomly determining who will draft first, players then take turns drafting the cards until each player has three. Then deal the next six cards face up, but don't draft them yet. Those are for the next round. During the building phase, players use the three cards they drafted to build their bridge. Any not used are discarded at the end of the round. Your bridge must begin with the pillar. Once you've placed the pillar, you can attach bridge cards to it. Bridge cards can only be attached to pillar cards or other bridge cards matching their type. These are called a bridge segment, and that's important for building and scoring later. Both players attach their bridge cards simultaneously. Once you're both done, the round is over. But be aware, you can't make changes to these segments in future rounds. It's round two and the other player's turn to draft first. Once drafting is done, deal out six more cards. The points on the cards create limits on where things can be built. Bridge cards can't be attached to cards with matching points, so this too must go here. Look here, we have a matching set of symbols. At the end of the game, each pair are worth five points, so keep a lookout for opportunities to make matches. To attach the suspension card, you need a pillar card to start it. You can attach new pillars to matching bridge segments, or you can build them on top of other pillars starting a new level, but you cannot start a new pillar that isn't attached to the existing bridge. We alternate who gets to draft first, and once we're done, we deal out the last cards in the deck. Here's an important rule involving building segments to keep in mind. The points on a bridge segment can go in ascending and or descending order, but only once each. Here's an example. This bridge descends first from the 5 to the 1, then begins ascending from the 1 to the 2. The bridge cannot descend again with the 1, but it can continue to ascend with the 3. Likewise, this bridge segment's points are ascending first and then begin to descend. You're not allowed to make the points ascend again, so you can't place this 3 here. It's round 4 and we draft and build one final time. During this building phase, you must complete all bridge segments or they can't be scored. A bridge segment is completed when it has matching pillar cards on both sides of it. When completing bridge segments on higher levels, you have to complete the level below it first or the ones above it are lost. This means that bridge segments on higher levels must be the same length as the levels below them. Time to score our bridges. First, add up all the points on the bottom level of your bridge. Second, add up all the points on the second level of your bridge and multiply them by two. Third, add up all the points on the third level of your bridge and multiply them by three. Finally, add five points for each matching set of symbols. Now let's see that in action. In the full game, players also score for contracts. This contract, for example, gives 10 points for a length 5 bridge segment. Contracts can only be scored once. When playing the full game, the winner keeps the contract, the players set up the game and play again. Before starting play on the next game, the losing player from the previous game looks at the next contract and face-up bridge cards, then decides if they want to go first or second. The first player to win two contracts wins the game.